Quick tips for a study number eight. This is study in C major by Cherney um, in players three. So first with fingering, you can do, you can try the fingering as written. I do like to change the fingering on measure two. Instead of three, two, one, I like to just um, go to my traditional triad root position fingering to a five, three, one. That works better for my hand. Again, on measure four, I go to five, three, one. Everything else um, I do as written. Do watch in measure eight that it's five, two, one in the right hand. Not a five, three, one, but just your traditional first inversion fingering, five, two, one. Expression. So with the expression, each arpeggio is going to slightly crescendo. Deep, 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 soft. Stay deep for a while so you don't have these accents. Deep, 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 soft, 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 deeper. Now this stays pretty deep. And you'll notice this with my wrist. Nice loose wrist, also a decrescendo. I like to use pedal in this piece. Um, you don't have to, but if you were going to do it, you could do it. Pedal. Changing once a measure. Change. 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 Now change twice a measure. Change. 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 You have to change your foot slowly or else it does really get blurry. Right, you can... So my foot comes down probably towards the E, towards the second or third note of the arpeggio. Because I can hold it down. So my foot probably comes down, up and then down. Otherwise the pedaling can sound blurry. Um, the rhythm is really straightforward. As, as I do, the metronome speeds that are indicated are always ticking to the eighths, not the quarters. It's easier for me to hear. Um, the notes are pretty straightforward. It is, it is just a matter, this, this uh, study is teaching us to play evenly between the hands, which can be difficult to make it sound like all one hand and keeping that rhythm exactly in line. Um, practicing it muscle builders every day is a great idea. Is what you're gonna have to do. It's not just a great idea, it's what you should do. <laughs> and also playing it medium sometimes with every note loud. Just no dynamics, but feeling that equal push. So you could do one of your mediums, no pedal with an equal push on each note, and then one of your mediums, you know, with the with the musicality. I'd also play one of your finals every day with no pedal. If you are doing pedal. Because your pedal can sometimes um, hide uh, technical weaknesses where you're going to be uneven or such like that. So every day in, of your three finals, do at least one without pedal so you can really hear that your fingers are being even both in the crescendo and just in their attack. So that is your quick tips for studying in C major.